I continue to get calls from my friends on any simple plumbing issue that they may be experiencing because I'm the plumber of the group. It could be anything from a leaky faucet, a clogged drain, a uh, sudden loss in water pressure, whatever it is, they call the plumber. I decided to put a quick video together to assist you in understanding uh, some of the issues and really one specific easy, easy fix to avoid you from having to spend one, two, three hundred dollars to clog a drain. Most commonly, my friends will call and they say, my shower drain is clogged, it's not going down. I gotta call the plumber. I actually have been able to identify a tool, I think it was 12 or $15 on Amazon. You can see the link below. Now let's get into it. First step, you wanna locate the drain. Can I get a little help from my assistant? Thank you, sir. You go, Harris. You're gonna take your snake that you purchased from Amazon, really straightforward, small rotating handle on the end. And you're simply gonna insert the head of the snake into the drain. I promise you, anybody could do this. You're gonna push down without applying too much pressure until you hit a little bit of a wall and you're simply going to rotate. I would go for about 10 or 15 seconds till you feel a little resistance on the line and pull. This is probably the first layer of hair that we've been able to pull out. It's a pretty uh, decent chunk of hair that you've uh, got caught up in the snake. So you're actually now going to remove this hair. Probably wanna wear a pair of gloves. We're going for round two. We cleared off most of the snake. We're gonna insert it just like we did the first time. Push down, hit a little bit of a wall, and nice and slow, you're just gonna turn. This time we're gonna go a little longer just because we know we've already pulled out a pretty thick layer of hair. And let's see what we got. Okay, other than this initial layer of hair, it looks like the drain is pre pretty clean. Probably would have saved yourself a few hundred dollars from calling the local plumber. Second go around didn't remove as much hair. It appears that we removed most of the hair on the initial snaking. Figure I did my last snaking of this particular drain about a year ago. Remained to be clear for the most part without backing up until about a week or so ago. And let's actually test the drain. Let's confirm that we're good to go. And that's what we want to see. A steady flow of water, no backups, good to go. Thanks for watching. Hope the video was helpful.